Welcome to the Amplis Expert Interview Series. Today, we delve into the transformative world of the open access solar model with our COO, Mr. Dilip Mehta. Join us as he unpacks how this model works, its benefits for businesses, and its promising future in renewable energy. Can you briefly explain the open access solar model and how it works for businesses? See, the key objectives of Electricity Act 2003 is that every consumer in the country should get reliable and affordable power. So right now, at that point in time, the power was supplied by the discounts to the consumers. Then to bring in the competition, Government of India introduced the concept of open access. So we need to understand what this open access actually means. So what it actually means is that utilizing the grid, either it is state grid or central grid, any consumer can draw power from multiple sources, depending on whatever is the sanction or the contract load that he has. So every state has a different route. Some states allow up to 100 kilowatts and some states allow up to 1 megawatt. That a consumer having a load of 1 megawatt or 100 kilowatts can draw power through the multiple sources, utilizing the grid that is created either by the state or by the sector. So this is in nutshell the concept of open access. Now the renewable energy companies uh, using this concept of open access, utilizing the state and central grid, they supply the green energy or green power to the uh, commercial and industrial consumers. So this is where the uh, Amplis has been doing the, this open access business and supplying power to CNI customers in multiple states. For example, Karnataka, then we have multiple projects in uh, UP, Chhattisgarh, now we're setting up a project in Maharashtra. So we also, I mean, one more project is there in Tamil Nadu. Then we have a project that is connected to central utility in Rajasthan, wherein we supply the power to the CTU in Rajasthan, and our customers spread across the country can draw the power uh, from their respective STUs. So in nutshell, this is the concept of uh, open access and how Amplis is working in the open access business. What are the key benefits of open access solar energy for large-scale industries or manufacturing units? Every CNA customer has got certain obligations. So, so far they have been drawing black power and they were utilizing for their businesses. Now, government of India has obligated them to either generate the green power or buy green power from the grid and uh, certain obligations have to be bent by them. So these obligations have to be met by CMD customers and also by the discounts. So CMD customers basically in either say cement industry, steel industry, or say uh, petrochemical projects, uh, oil and gas projects. So everyone has got certain obligations. So to meet these obligations, uh, the CAP customers, either they can set up their own projects, utilizing their own capex, or there are multiple suppliers in the country who are developing the IPPs and they supply power to the CND customers. So we are one amongst those IPPs who generate power and then we supply that green power to the CND customers. So the, some of the CND customers may have the obligations to buy the green power or it may be also making a commercial sense to them to buy the green power. How can businesses expect to reduce their electricity costs using open access renewable energy and what are the typical savings percentages? See, so the CMD customers can draw the green energy or green power from uh, companies like Amplis or any other IPPs in two different models. One is uh, they also invest along with the IPP, what we call it as group captive or captive structure projects. The second is a third party sale. So, this uh, third party sale and uh, captive structuring uh, methodology are the mobs vary from state to state. So every state does not have the uniform policies. So similarly, uh, you know, the cost of generation of green energy today is almost at par with the grid power, or also sometimes lower than the grid power. So there is definitely a commercial sense for CND customers to buy the grid power from the IPP developers like Aplus. The benefit that they may get will vary from state to state. And typically what we are seeing, it ranges anywhere between 50 to 30 percent, depending on what kind of structuring has been done by the, uh, uh, by the CLA customer along with the IPP. 
or depending on the location and from where he's drawing the power. Broadly, the range would be about 50 to 30 percent, I would say. How is open access solar evolving in India and other markets? What trends should businesses be aware of in the renewable energy open access sector? See, we set up our first open access project uh, at Karnataka State, a project called NICA, which is about 42 megawatts back in 2016. So then subsequently we set up the largest open access project in Karnataka, about 175 megawatts. So what we have learned during the course of execution of this open access project and feedback from different customers is that uh, playing Vanira Solar is not going to work anymore. Now customers are looking for uh, you know, 24 by 7 power supply. So the hybrid model uh, wherein wind power also should be combined along with the solar power to meet the customer requirements. And certain customers also require that uh, even battery storage is also should be a part of the solution. So going forward, what we see is that uh, firm renewable energy dispatch of uh, 24 by 7, maybe with 90% availability, that is made to the CNDA customers, uh, then uh, it will be a proposition for both IBP as well as the CNDA customers. See, uh, as it is in India, the industry growth has been upwards of 7 to 9%. The numbers can vary from month to month or year to year or business to business. But broadly, the Indian economy is growing anywhere between 7 to 8 percent. That is given now. So, in line with the growth of the country, power demand also is expected to grow at least 1.2 to 1.5 times higher than this. So, what we clearly see is that a trend of about 10 percent growth in the electricity market will be there. But what we see is that Typically, there would be a requirement about 3 or 5 gigawatts going forward for the open access business every year. What are some common concerns or misconceptions about open access solar energy and how can they be addressed? The typical misconception about this renewable energy industry in the CMD segment are generally is that uh, renewable energy power will be expensive and also it is an intermittent power. It is not available continuously. But... Uh, you know, with the solutions of hybrid energy being made available in the form of uh, wind, solar and battery put together. All these misconceptions, misconceptions can be eliminated. Other couple of points where CNDA customers have some inhibitions about drawing renewable energy is first point is on the PPAs. The PPA terms typically are anywhere between 15 to 25 years. So CNDA customers do not want to lock themselves in for such a long duration. And the second is that uh, the regulatory approvals that have to be sought and every year they have to maintain. I think that is another cumbersome point from the CNDA customer point of view as well as from the IBD perspective. Why choose Ampless Solar? Ampless has been in the business of supplying green energy to CNDA customers since 2014. So having almost 10 years of experience in this segment, so we just don't provide the green energy to the customers, CLA customers. But we understand the problems of the CNDA customers. And we try to provide them the energy solutions, which are innovative and also tailor-made for a specific customer. Uh, they have, you can talk about customers who supply different uh, you know, solutions subsequently, but having done 10 years of uh, mobile access projects in the country and having a size of about 2 gigawatts, and having installed the more than 650 on-site projects and about 12 to 30 open access large projects uh, in various states on the country. So Ambless today is very well equipped in uh, understanding the customer requirements, finding out the solutions for them, and installing the projects in various parts of the country, let it be STU connected or let it be CTU connected. So this is a vast experience that Ambless brings in and Ambrose also has got a strong parentage in terms of Gentari, which is a part of uh, Petronas. So uh, there is a good uh, credit line that is available from the parents to execute the projects of any size in the country. So that way we are very well equipped in terms of uh, getting the projects financed very quickly at a very good interest rates and offer I mean, uh, energy solutions to the customers at a very, very affordable and competitive prices when compared to our competitors. What's your advice for businesses considering open access and how can they start with Amplis? Any same day customer who has got the power requirement, especially for green energy, I think Amplis is well equipped to provide the solutions. Uh, one is because of the 
10 years of uh, presence in the industry and also having worked with uh, multiple customers. Especially those customers who do not want to put their capex in the project uh, and want to draw the power uh, to where somebody is supplying the power to them. I think uh, AMS is the right one-stop solution for CN Deca students. Thank you for joining us today. If you're interested in learning more about how open access solar works for businesses or want to explore the benefits of open access solar energy, visit Amplis at the link below. Let's work together to power your business sustainably.